Hawaii is a postcard perfect collection of islands approximately 2,500 miles off the coast of the United States. Surfers, honeymooners, hikers, and anybody else wishing to calm down and appreciate the slower pace of island life flock here. The terrain, or aina, people, and indigenous culture of Hawaii are all beautiful. As a guest, it's critical to understand Hawaii's complicated and sad past, and to treat the island with the utmost respect. Hawaii offers a variety of islands to select from, so there's something for everyone. Hawaii offers a limitless tropical retreat, from the surfing on Oahu to the wonders of Maui, the splendor of Honolulu, and the hidden jewels of Lanai. I enjoy the laid-back environment, fresh tropical fruit and delectable seafood, and the abundance of outdoor activities. Hawaii is exactly what you expect it to be. Hawaii offers an odd mix of feeling like you're in a different nation while yet being in the United States, thanks to its Asian and Polynesian traditions. It's the combination of the three that makes Hawaii feel like a cultural crossroads. This Hawaii travel guide will help you plan a budget-friendly and fun vacation to any of the islands. Other things to see and do in Hawaii. 1. Explore the Waipio Valley. Hawaiian rulers formerly lived in the beautiful wildness of the Waipio Valley, Big Island. It is now covered in taro fields. The river that passes between the valley walls, giving way to waterfalls before ultimately spilling into the ocean at a black sand beach, is known as Waipio. There are several routes here, but the major one leads down into the valley and back up to the black sand beach. It's 6.5 miles, 10 kilometers, long and difficult, but it's well worth it. ATV trips, which start at $169 USD per person, are another way to experience the valley. 2. Night Dive with Manta Rays. Take a sunset boat down the Kona coast to the Manta Ray village on the Big Island. Swimming with huge manta rays, some of which are 18 feet long and weigh up to 1,600 pounds, is possible here. It's one of the top places in the world to go manta spotting. Manta rays graze on phytoplankton and zooplankton, and their bioluminescence causes them to shine underwater. Snorkeling trips start at $115 USD, while night dives with a single tank start at $135 USD. 3. Go on a helicopter tour. Take a helicopter trip to get a bird's eye perspective of the islands in all their breathtaking glory. They aren't inexpensive, but they make for a memorable once-in-a-lifetime event. The rides last about an hour and focus on a specific island. The beauty of Kauai, Oahu, and the Big Island is breathtaking. The cost of a helicopter trip starts at $275 USD per person. 4. Attend a Ka Nepali Sunset Luau. A luau is a traditional Hawaiian feast or gathering that is frequently accompanied by music and dancing. Until 1819, luau's were gender segregated, with men and women eating separately. A traditional Hawaiian dance ritual, a Samoan fire dance, and a traditional Hawaiian feast, the majority of which is cooked in an underground oven, are all part of the Ka'anapali Luau. Throughout the event, you'll be surrounded by a sunset on the beach. The starting price is $125 USD. 5. Hike the Waimea Canyon and Nepali Coast. Hike one of the numerous paths on the west side of the island to discover why Kauai is known as the Garden Isle. The paths are well marked and provide breathtaking views of the canyon and shore, as well as fascinating tropical vegetation. Longer, multi-day hikes are also possible here. The Kalalau Trail, with 22 miles 35 kilometers, of pathways winding through valleys, streams, and along the ocean, is regarded as Hawaii's most scenic trek. For a multi-day journey, you'll need to apply for a camping permit. The cost of a permit is $30 USD per night per site. 6. Check out the Bishop Museum. The Bishop Museum on Oahu is a Polynesian anthropological institute that displays traditional art and relics from Hawaii. It has the world's greatest collection of Polynesian antiquities and is Hawaii's largest museum. The primary gallery, Hawaiian Hall, is dedicated to Hawaiian mythology, it has a stunning interior with beautiful wooden architecture. A children's science center is also available. The museum was built in 1889 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places in the United States. The cost of admission is $24.95 USD. 7. Go River Tubing. Backcountry river tubing is available in Kauai. 
you'll travel through abandoned sugarcane farms before floating along a series of canals in a 19th century irrigation system. You'll pass through dark tunnels and magnificent jungle sceneries as you descend down the river. Tours begin at $112 USD and run around 3 hours. Snacks and drinks are provided. 8. Drive the scenic road to Hana. Driving the winding road to Hana is a must-do if you're in Maui. It's a winding, hairpin turn ride along the coast with several gorgeous vistas and waterfalls. Make a point of stopping in Ohio Gulch and ascending the PPY Trail to Waimoku Falls, which is 400 feet tall. It's only a 4-mile, 6.5-kilometer, walk with some large banyan trees along the way. Check out the Kahekili Highway for another gorgeous drive. It's less crowded, features hairpin twists, and plenty of interesting scenery, such as the Nakalele Blowhole. 9. Tour a Coffee Plantation. Coffee is cultivated in Hawaii, which is one of the few areas in the United States where it is grown. Visit the Kuaiwi Farm in Kona, Big Island, for an in-depth coffee plantation tour. You'll discover all there is to know about coffee production from start to finish, as well as how cacao, pineapples, and bananas are cultivated organically. The cost of the tour is $25 USD, which includes samples. 10. Learn to surf. In Hawaii, surfing is huge. The north shore of Oahu is very popular with surfers of all abilities, and big contests are frequently held there. Sign up for some surfing lessons if you want to learn how to surf, or even a multi-day surf camp. The North Shore Oahu Surf School has some fantastic teachers, and their two-hour lessons are only $80 USD. Surfboards may be rented for roughly $25 USD per day on the islands. 11. See the sunrise at Haleakala. Haleakala is a dormant volcano in Maui that rises to a height of 3,055 meters, 10,023 feet, and offers one of the most magnificent sunrises you'll ever witness. The summit is quite chilly, bring gloves and a hat, and the road up is treacherous, but the views of Maui from the top are well worth it. A 12-mile, 19-kilometer, volcano trek through flower fields, pine forests, and pebbly volcanic vistas is also available. It's really simple to accomplish on your own, although excursions, which run 6 hours and start at $170 USD, are also available. If you're flying from the mainland, do this on one of your first days so that your jet lag works in your favor and you can easily wake up early. 12. Hike Diamond Head. The most renowned landmark in Oahu is Diamond Head. This dormant volcano and its extinct crater are located on the eastern end of Waikiki and feature a lovely vantage point at the summit. It's a popular hike to get here. Because the trek is so popular, you'll want to start as early as possible in the morning before the busloads of visitors arrive. The entrance fee is $5 USD, and parking is $10 USD per vehicle. 13. Hike the Kaiwa Ridge. This strenuous 1.8-mile climb, also known as the Lanikai Pillbox Trail, leads to a ridge with views of the crystal blue seas of Lanikai and Kailua beaches. Because there is no shade, this trek is best done early in the morning or late in the afternoon. While staying in Waikiki makes Diamond Head more convenient, the trek out to this trek is definitely worth it. 14. Hit the beach. In Hawaii, it's difficult to find a poor beach to visit. Powder white beach, waving pom-poms, and spectacular sunsets characterize the majority of them. To name a few, visit Papakolea Beach, Green Sand Beach, Big Island, Kailua Beach, Oahu, Ala Moana Beach Park, Oahu, Makina Beach, Maui, Hanalei Beach, Kauai, Polahua Beach, Lanai, and Kaanapali Beach, Maui. In Hawaii, there is so much beautiful coastline that you can frequently just pull over and rest on any random beach without it becoming too crowded. 15. See Hilo. Hilo is the most populous city on the Big Island, with a historic downtown district brimming with galleries, museums, stores, and restaurants. The Farmer's Market, which is open seven days a week but conducts major markets every Wednesday and Saturday, is one of its must-see attractions. Fresh fruit, smoothies, and handcrafted jewelry are all available, and singers and street performers are frequently present. Take a stroll around the Liliwokalani Gardens, which has Japanese rock gardens and pagodas. Also worth a visit is Two Ladies Kitchen, which serves some of the nicest and most fresh mochi, Japanese rice cake, outside of Japan. 16. Explore Lanai. 
Lanai, often known as Pineapple Island, is Hawaii's sixth smallest island. It's also the smallest inhabited island that's open to the public, just over 3,000 people live here. Beautiful beaches, picturesque nature trails, Monroe and Naha are two notable trails, and a few of golf courses can be found on the island, which is a 45-minute boat ride from Maui. If you want to avoid the throng, it's a nice location to visit for a day or two. Rent a four-wheel drive vehicle or hike the Kealia Kapu Kaunolu Village Heritage Trail. If you're coming for the day, catch the first and last ferries in and out to get the most out of your visit. 17. Visit Molokai. This is the fifth smallest island in the Hawaiian archipelago, yet it is perhaps the most Hawaiian because it has the greatest population of native Hawaiians per capita. It has a fairly rural air to it, with just 8,000 residents, and is very different from the tourist centers of the larger islands. It's a nice area to visit if you want to get a sense for the tranquil life in Hawaii. It's located just north of Maui. Kapuhi Beach is a famous swimming and surfing area. Hawaii Travel Costs Prices for hostels and campsites, a night in a 4-6 bed dorm costs $50 to US$70. Expect to pay roughly $30 to US$45 for a room with 8 or more beds. The price of a private room with a common bathroom is from $80 to US$100 a night. Free Wi-Fi as usual, and many hostels give a complimentary breakfast. There are several campsites in Hawaii. Apply for a permit, $30 USD per night for non-residents, at least a month in advance to remain in any of Hawaii's state parks, camping.ehawaii.gov. Otherwise, you may not be able to acquire a position. Private campsites may be found for as little as $10 USD per person. Some individuals propose free wild camping on beaches, however this isn't permitted in most regions owing to environmental concerns. It's also far too simple to trespass onto sacred sites, which is strictly prohibited. Hotel rates for a low budget, hotel rates vary based on where you go. Expect higher rates in Hawaii's more touristic places, particularly near Waikiki Beach and in the Maui area. In peak season, nightly rates for a modest two-star hotel room in Waikiki and Maui start at around $200 to US$300 while they cost $150 to US$175 in less touristic locales. In Hawaii, there are several Airbnb possibilities. Private rooms start at $75 per night but average closer to $150, while a complete home or apartment costs $120 per night, though they average over $250. In Hawaii, short-term rentals are strictly regulated, and each island has its unique set of guidelines. When making a reservation, keep this in mind. Poke, raw fish that has been chopped or cubed, is one of the most popular dishes because it goes well with a variety of fresh salads. Of course, there are various spam meals to be found here as well. Spam was provided to soldiers during World War II because of its lengthy shelf life and lack of refrigeration requirements. From there, it became a cultural mainstay. Hot dogs cost roughly $4 USD for on-the-go eating. A half chicken costs $10 USD, whereas a lunch of poke or a hefty salad from a deli is roughly $11 USD. A traditional spam musubi costs $3 USD. Visit a 7-Eleven for a taste of Hawaiian delights comparable to those found at a Japanese konbini. For $10 to US$15, you can have a plate of chicken, rice, and salad, what the locals term a plate lunch. A large platter of garlic shrimp will set you back $12 USD. Vegetarian was roughly the same price. On the islands, buffets start at $25 USD. A combination lunch at a fast food restaurant, like McDonald's, costs $9.50 USD. A pia colada or glass of wine will set you back $10 to US$15, while a beer will set you back $7 to US$10. Expect to pay around $5.50 USD for a latte or cappuccino. Water in a bottle costs $2 USD. A three-course pre-fix meal at a high-end restaurant costs at least $50 USD. A main dinner for seafood or steak starts at $30 USD while pasta or vegetarian dishes are only marginally less expensive. Starting prices for soup and salad appetizers are around $12 USD. A luau costs between $50 to $150 USD if you have a larger budget. 
Expect to spend $75 to $80 United States dollars each week on items such as pasta, veggies, poultry, and other basic essentials if you make your own meal. You may save money by shopping at discount stores like Cost You Less, Big Island and Kauai, Don Quixote, Oahu, and Big Save, Kauai, which provide food and beverages at low costs. Backpacking Hawaii Suggested Budgets Plan on spending roughly $85 USD each day if you're hiking in Hawaii. On this budget, you may stay in a hostel dorm or camp, prepare the majority of your meals, participate in free activities like as hiking and walking tours, restrict your alcohol consumption, and travel by public transit. You may stay in a private hostel room or Airbnb for $190 USD a day, eat all of your meals out at affordable restaurants offering traditional food, go surfing or diving, have a few drinks at the bar, and take the odd cab on this budget. You may stay in a hotel, eat out anywhere you want, take private guided tours, snorkel or dive as much as you want, rent a car to travel around, and participate in as many activities and excursions as you like on a luxury budget of $485 USD a day. However, this is only the first layer of luxury. There's no limit to what you can do. Depending on your travel style, you may use the table below to get an estimate of how much you'll need to budget daily. Keep in mind that these are daily averages, you'll spend more or less on other days, you might spend less every day. We're only trying to offer you a rough notion of how to create a budget. The prices are in US dollars. Hawaii Travel Guide, Money Saving Tips. The cost of living in Hawaii is high. It's a popular tourist destination, the majority of the cuisine is imported, and there's a lot to see and do. However, if you want to save money in Hawaii, here are some suggestions. Free tours from Maui's Banana Bungalow. The Banana Bungalow in Maui offers daily free tours that cover most of the island's highlights. Staying here will save you money. Traveling during the off-season, mid-April to mid-June and mid-September to mid-December, can help you save money on hotels. Buy local, many items and foodstuffs might be costly due to high import costs. Take use of the abundance of local foods and items instead. Farmers markets all across the islands are an excellent place to look for them. Not only do they offer fresh vegetables for you to cook at your hostel, but many local food providers set up shop so you can stock up on ready-to-eat meals. For a variety of market possibilities, go to these websites. Redeem hotel points. Before you go, sign up for hotel credit cards and redeem the points you earn. Many of the great resorts here are owned by large hotel chains, which provide free stays in exchange for points. Couchsurf. If you're on a budget, couchsurfing is a great way to stay with a local. You'll not only get free lodging, but you'll also get access to an insider who can provide you ideas and guidance. Rent a bike. Download the Beaky app to utilize the island's bike-sharing program if you're on Oahu. A single trip costs $4 USD, and a 300-minute pass costs $25 USD. Make the most of your car hire. If you only need a car for a few hours, the Way Car Share app offers automobiles accessible for an hourly cost in several tourist hotspots. Depending on your demands, it may be less expensive than a full-day rental. Avoid taxis. Uber and Lyft are far less expensive than taxis and the ideal method to move about a city if you don't want to ride the bus or pay for a cab. Even higher discounts can be had by using a shared pool option, where you share a ride with other individuals. With the following codes, you may save money on your first rides, Lyft, Matthew 999 to save $10 USD, and Uber, JLX6V to save $15 USD. Get a Go Oahu Pass. This inexpensive card gives you access to 40-plus attractions in Oahu. Passes range in length from 1 to 7 days and cost $82 USD. Take a free walking tour. Free walking tours are one of my favorite things to do. They're an inexpensive and convenient method to move about and visit the big landmarks. Hawaii Free Tours offers a tour of Honolulu. Just remember to tip your guide when you're done. Bring a reusable water bottle. The tap water in this area is safe to drink, so bottled water is unnecessary. You'll save money while also lowering your carbon footprint. A reusable container with a built-in filter from LifeStraw guarantees that your water is always clean. Where to stay in Hawaii? Hawaii has lots of hostels. Here are my recommended places to stay in Hawaii. The Beach Boutique Hostel, Oahu, Banana Bungalow, Maui, Aloha Surf Hostel, Maui, My Hawaiian Hostel, Big Island, Pineapple Park, 
Big Island, Hilo Bay Hostel, Big Island. How to get around Hawaii. Which islands you visit determine how you move around Hawaii. When contrasted to areas like Kauai, certain islands, like as Maui and Oahu, have greater infrastructure for moving about. Bus. In Hawaii, buses are the only mode of public transportation, however buses are not available on Lanai and Molokai. The most comprehensive transport system is on Oahu, with good coverage and regular buses. The bus is simply known as the bus, and a one-way ticket from Honolulu to Waikiki costs $2.75. The cost of travel increases as you travel further. A day pass is also available for $5.50 USD if you ask the bus driver when you board. You should use Google Maps instead of the bus company's official website for journey planning. Maui Bus, Kauai Bus, and Heleon Bus, Big Island, all run island-wide, with day passes beginning at $4 to US$5. Again, none of these services are really user-friendly, so plan your trip using Google Maps. Air, flying is the most common, and frequently the only, mode of transportation between the islands. Flights are typically inexpensive, fast, and unpretentious, you don't even get allocated seats most of the time. Hawaiian Carriers and Mokulele Airlines are Hawaii's domestic airlines. Southwest also offers flights between the islands. Flights are usually inexpensive. One-way flights from Maui to Honolulu, for example, cost approximately $110 USD, whereas flights from Kauai to Maui cost approximately $120 USD. The cost of flying from Honolulu to Hilo, Big Island, is $115 USD. Car Rental while renting a car is not always the cheapest choice, it is the most convenient method to move around in Hawaii. The cost of a day starts at around $35 USD, if you rent for a week or more. Expect to spend $50 USD or more per day for shorter rentals. Ferry. The only way to go from Maui to Lanai is to take a ferry. You'll have to travel wherever else. The cost of the ferry is around $30 USD each way. On go-lanai.com, you may purchase a ticket. Taxis, taxis are not cheap. Everything is based on a meter, with a basic price of $3.50 USD and an extra $3.50 USD each mile. If you can, avoid taking cabs. If you don't want to take the bus or pay for a cab, ridesharing services like Uber and Lyft are the easiest method to travel about a city. They may be found on the majority of the islands. Hitchhiking. This is one of the most accessible hitchhiking destinations in the United States. HitchWiki is a great resource for advice and information. It's the finest resource for hitchhiking. When to go to Hawaii. Peak season in Hawaii begins around the middle of December and lasts until the end of March, mid-April, when mainland Americans are looking for a way to escape the harsh winter months. During this period, the average daily temperature is 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 26 degrees Celsius. Low season travel, mid-April to mid-June, mid-September to mid-December, provides pleasant weather and less crowds, and slightly cheaper prices. The average summer daytime temperature is 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius. There's never a terrible time to visit because it's always hot and sunny here. How to stay safe in Hawaii. Even whether you're traveling alone or as a solo female traveler, Hawaii is a safe location to backpack and travel. Violent attacks are uncommon and usually limited to certain regions in Honolulu, especially where drug and gang violence are a problem. However, avoid walking alone late at night as a general rule. Keep your possessions safe in case of minor crime, such as stealing. Car break-ins are common on the islands, so keep yours secured at all times. Never leave anything of value in your car. Pay attention to any cautions or advisories regarding extreme weather or volcanic eruptions, which are uncommon. Before going trekking, always check the weather forecast. If you can't swim well, stay away from the water. The rip tides here are quite severe, so never swim alone. Above all, treat the earth with respect. Much of Hawaii is revered as a holy place. If you trespass on any holy, private property or trash anywhere on the islands, you will be treated with great contempt. Do not attempt it. Avoid single-use plastics like straws and cutlery by bringing a reusable water bottle. Because plastic bags are prohibited, carry a reusable tote for your groceries or shopping. Finally, the Hawaiian sun may be quite harsh, so protect yourself and your skin by wearing plenty of sunscreen. 
To preserve the environment, every sunscreen must be reef safe. This local brand performs admirably and is also child friendly. In the event of an emergency, contact 911 for help. Always go with your gut feeling. Make duplicates of your personal papers, such as your passport and identification card. Send your itinerary to family and friends so they'll know where you're going. If you wouldn't do it at home, don't do it in Hawaii. You'll be okay if you stick to that guideline. Purchase adequate travel insurance, which is the most critical piece of advice I can give. You are covered by travel insurance against illness, accident, theft, and cancellations. It provides full protection in the event that something goes wrong. I never go on a trip without it since I've had to use it before.